Hello and welcome to Wine Matchmaker. I'm Tony Anderson, your wine matchmaker. And today we're reviewing the 2012 Glen Eldon Eden Valley Riesling. Now, as you'll all know, I'm a big Riesling fan. And two of my favourite re uh, regions for Riesling are both in South Australia. They are the Clear Valley and the Eden Valley. And one of my favourite producers is Glen Eldon. So, you know, when you've got a Glen Eldon Riesling, how much better does it get than this? So, um, the, uh, the Eden Valley, for some of those who don't know, is in South Australia, as I've said. And it's, um, and I'm holding it up to the other camera so you can have a look at it. And it uh, it's runs parallel to the Barossa Valley. And it's a little higher elevation. So the Barossa Valley is a bit lower and known very much for its reds, for its Shirazes, for its Cabernets, for its Mataros. And it's, often, it's the warmer, because uh, it's a bit lower, it's a bit warmer, and therefore it grows those red varieties. White varieties like it a little bit cooler, therefore uh, it grows the, the white, of, white varieties such as, as Riesling very well. And the Eden Valley Rieslings are quite renowned, actually. If you're, if you're a Riesling fan, you, you've probably heard of them. If you haven't, you should give them a try. So let's have a look at this wine. Uh, 2012 was an excellent vintage for Eden Valley Riesling. Look out for it. It is going to be a stunner. I've tried a few when I was in the Barossa a couple of weeks ago, and they are excellent. And this, this one is, is no exception. So let's crack it open and give it a try. So you look at the colour straight away, and you're looking at those pale lemon and lime sort of colours. So that, that's, that's a classic sort of Riesling sort of colour. Very pale and, uh, and, and uh, sort of, uh, as I say, lemon and lime sort of colours to it. Give it a bit of a swell. Let's have a bit of a sniff on the nose and see what it's doing. Once again, lemon and lime on the nose. Often what you see in the wine is often what you get on the nose. And lots of citrus like a little bit of spice as well, maybe a little bit of apple spice on the nose as well, which is um, which is quite nice. Very very fresh wine, quite aromatic. And basic aromatic on wine, all that really means is that it you get a lot of smell from it. That's just a nice way of saying it's got a lot of smell, really. Let's give it a taste and see whether it really tastes like it smells. Very fresh wine. Lots of citrus, lots of lime, a little bit of lemon sherbet in there as well. Very crisp finish, lots and lots of nice acid in there as well. And acid is really important in white wine. I'm sure if you've seen my reviews before, I've said it many times, that acid allows white wine to age. You've got lots of acid in there, white wine will age very well. And this wine will age. In fact, there's a review coming out. Well, I'll actually review this wine, and it's a 2005, and it's aged beautifully. And this is lovely, and it's drinking very well now, and it will go for many years. So here at Wine Matchmaker, we're all about matching wine to food and to people. So what sort of food will this wine go with? Well, this wine is, with a lot of reasons, a perfect match for seafood. This would go excellently with prawns and with scallops. And I can just imagine some lovely barbecued prawns with this wine. It would just be magnificent. What sort of people would it go with? If you're tired of Sauvignon Blanc, get into this. This is not your old sweet Riesling that people are used to. This is a dry style. There's almost no sweetness in this at all. It's been almost completely fermented out. It's lovely, crisp, go beautifully on a warm day. It's just a lovely, uh, dry wine. So today we've had the pleasure of trying the uh, 2012 Glen Eldon Eden Valley Riesling. Well worth giving it a try. So thank you for watching Wine Matchmaker, and in the meantime, enjoy some wine.